Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to create a fully dynamic crosshair in Unreal Engine 5. One that reacts to movement, jumping and shooting, just like in professional shooter games. Let's bring your aiming system to life, step by step. I have a simple setup. I just put a weapon in the first person character's hand. I will create a folder to keep things organized. I have a very simple PNG image. I will import it. Let's double click on the image. We'll make a few adjustments. In the level of detail tab, we need to select the UI option as the texture group. Under compression, make sure user interface 2D is selected. We can save and close. Now let's create and open a widget. First, let's add a canvas panel. Let's add an image inside it. We should select the center of the screen as the anchor. To view the image in its actual size, check Size to Content. The tip of the image should be exactly in the center of the screen. We need to adjust this in the Alignment section. Now let's duplicate this image three more times and perform the same steps. Rotate the duplicated images using the Angle section in the Render Transform tab. Of course, we need to make the necessary adjustments from the Pivot option below. The pivot of the images should be the sharp edge. I don't want the images to merge in the middle. Let's open each one by 10 units. Now we need to call the widget we created in the character blueprint. We call the create widget node and select our widget. We can add it to the screen with add to viewport. The crosshair is now on the screen. We've actually completed the task. But in shooter games, the ability to aim decreases when firing. You can see it yourself. When firing, jumping or running, the crosshair should spread outwards and make it difficult to aim. Now we'll look at that. Let's start with a simple logic. We should be able to change the translate values of the images in the widget from within a blueprint, right? Then we can trigger this animation in the action we want. Let's create a reference to the widget in order to access the images in the widget from within the character blueprint.
Here, I'll use a vent tick. I'm creating a function. Inside this function, I'll calculate the crosshairs expansion ratio. Now we need an input. It should be a float. We'll use it for the delta time output in the event tick node. Let's create a variable and name it expand amount. Make it a float. Let's also give it a default value of the same type. And set its value to 0.5 for now. Let's go to the event graph and connect this function to the event tick node. In order for the crosshair to expand when firing, we need to call our widget reference at the end of the left mouse button action and access the crosshair visuals. Let's take the first visual. We will call the set render translation node and change its position. I want it to respond differently for each action, so I'll multiply it by minus 100 while firing. I'm linking the result to the X value because this image moves in the negative direction on the X axis. When I release the fire button, it should return to its original state. Here, I'm also setting the default value. Now let's repeat this process for the other three crosshair images. Yes, it's working as I wanted. However, repeating the same process for jumping and running would be a bit costly. Therefore, we need to convert the expansion process and the return to normal process into functions. We need to select the relevant nodes, right click and click collapse to function. We can add these functions to the end of the jumping and running events. Of course, there's another issue. All events are working with the same values. We might want to make each one different. For this, we can open the function and add an input. We can enter different float values for each event in the event graph. For negative values, multiplying by minus one is sufficient. Now we can enter separate values for jumping, running and shooting in the event graph. If you're finding value in these tutorials, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content. You can also ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.